Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another Brown Inks comparison video. This is Brown Inks comparison number two. So I think let's go and swap up some of these inks. So the first ink is a Robert Oster ink and this is Cafe Crema. Now this is an ink that I have used a lot and I typically use it in my Visconti Homo Sapiens bronze swirl. And mostly because it has this sort of bronze, sort of cafe crema kind of swirl going on. And I kind of like the way that the ink looks in the pen. So this is Robert Oster and it's cafe crema. But this is a really nice sort of greeny brown, almost sort of lighty brown ink, I would say. The next ink is Mont Blanc Toffee Brown. And I do love these shoe bottles. So we'll do an ink swatch. Now this is quite a dark brown, but it's a brown that I do actually use and like a lot see there put a little bit more on so you can see how it looks a bit saturated so this is a Mont Blanc and it's toffee brown but that is a really nice brown ink now the next ink strange enough has no label but I know what this ink is it's Pilot Awashizuku and it is Sukushi and the reason why it doesn't have a label on it is that I actually dropped the bottle in its box and the bottle I thought the bottle cracked but the label had basically all the ink had seeped out and run over the label and it was illegible uh, but I realized in the end it was only the cap so I actually managed to salvage the bottle and uh, I uh, managed to replace the cap so these Pilot Washer Zuku bottles are actually quite durable it's the caps that break first so we'll do an ink swatch here and this is quite a nice brown ink that I like and Sakushi basically translates to horse's tail so it's Pilot Iroshizuku Sakushi that for me is a brown ink that I use a lot. The next ink is another Robert Oster ink and this is Robert Oster Khaki or Khaki. Now this was an ink that I got when I was after a really gold coloured ink and I saw this and I thought actually that's not a bad colour ink and it's not a gold colour ink at all. In hindsight it's it is a khaki so it's more of a greeny brown ink so this is Robert Oster khaki so if you like a more khaki colored ink then this might be one to go for the next ink is Visconti Sepia. So these don't actually come with a label on the bottle, so I label printed a label. That way I can tell what colour ink is in the bottle. So we'll do an ink swatch. And you can see that this is more of a light brown ink. saturate it a little bit more there so this is Visconti sepia 
but you can see there that is a nice brown ink and then the next ink is Waterman Absolute Brown which also used to be called Havana Brown before they renamed it to Absolute Brown so we'll do an ink swatch now this is an ink that is growing more on me now sometimes it can be a little bit dry so I'll do a little bit more of a saturation here so you can see it in its glory but this is quite a nice brown ink so this is Waterman and it's absolute brown and you probably can't get more of a brown coloured ink honestly I think it is a perfect brown ink the next ink is KWZ Honey so we'll do an ink swatch here now this I find is quite a wet ink but you can see there how light it can actually go so put a bit more saturation on there maybe I'll just leave that bottom bit there so you can see the difference in colour so it really depends on the kind of nib that you're going to write with on this ink how dark it will come out so we'll do a writing sample here so this is KWZ Honey the next ink is Jehaban Ali Dete now I know what you're going to say aha that's not a Jehaban bottle and no it's not I absolutely detest the small Jehaban D size bottles. I cannot get any number six size nib in there once I've used just probably a converter of ink. So I decanted them into these Twisby bottles. Uh, so I can actually get almost two bottles of the small size Jehaban inks into this bottle. And honestly, it makes a lot more sense. So let's do an ink swatch here so this is Jehaban Leader Tea or tea leaves as it's called I'll do a little bit more saturation there so this is Jehaban or I think they just now want to be called Heban and in some cases Jack Heban it's Jehaban and it's Li de Te or tea leaves. Now I have another bottle here, and this I thought actually was Jehaban Li de Te, but unfortunately the ink has seeped under this sellotape logo that I put on the box here. Again, it's another Jehaban ink. Uh, but I've actually come to realise it's not Lee de Te, it's a lighter colour and it's actually Jehaban Ombre de Bermany. So we'll do an ink swatch here and you can see the difference in colour here. It's definitely not a Lee de Te. But it is a really lovely light golden orange. So this is Jehaban and it is Amber or Ambre de Bermany. But that is a very nice brown ink. So let's look at these inks one more time. We have Robert Oster Cafe Crema, which is a really lovely light brown ink, and it's an ink that I do love a lot. And you can see it there in that writing sample. We have Mont Blanc Toffee Brown, which actually has a lot of shading going on, depending on how wet that ink gets put down. And then you have Pilot Awashizuku Sakushi, which is a light brown ink and I'll see if I can try and show you here it does have some sheen going on there uh, it's not that sort of prominent but you can kind of see a little bit of sheen 
sort of goldish sheen going on there in that ink. We then have Robert Oster Khaki, which is actually quite a nice khaki colour ink, and I think the name actually makes sense for this ink. It is more of a greenish brown or a sepia brown, maybe, uh, but that's an ink that I like the look of, but I don't actually use a lot, and I must actually start using that ink again. The next ink is Visconti Sepia, and this is sort of... A, almost like a dark powdery brown ink uh, or almost like a chocolatey brown I would say sort of a powder brown now you do see a lot of shading here and you do get a lot of shading on this Robert Ostakaki as well but not as much shading on the Visconti sepia and then you have Waterman absolute brown which I would say is almost similar to the Visconti sepia but it's just a slightly lighter version so you've got that powdery look you've got some shading going on not as much shading perhaps but it's very similar in terms of the color there and then we have kwz honey and i wanted to put this down really heavy because i have a number of different nibs or pens and some are very wet writers and some are more dry writing nibs and the wetting or the wetter writing nibs tend to go down this more dark color and then the drier writing nibs tend to be this more almost honey color and very light sort of brown color so I wanted to show the difference here so there is a lot of shading going on now is there any sheen going on uh, maybe just a slight amount of sheen but it's same color it's you're not seeing really any other color there and then we have J Herban Lee de Tay and this is tea leaves and this is effectively what brown tea looks like in a cup so uh, it's a brown that I do like a lot and this can also differ you'll see the light bit here and if I just bring that closer to the camera you can kind of see how that color changes in nibs uh, some nibs I find, the more wetter nibs, it comes down very dark brown. So almost the same as Visconti Sepia. And in other nibs, like around the edge here and the edge here, you can see it's a lot more lighter brown. And that tends to be in the more drier nibs. And then we have the last thing, and this is Jehaban Ambre de Bermany. And this is a very, very light brown ink has a huge amount of shading so if you want a shading ink and you have a wet writing nib maybe a medium wet medium or a broad or even a stub nib then this is a lovely ink to put in a pen that will write very wet and pretty broad as well so that's my brown inks comparison number two video if there are any brown inks that you like that I haven't had in this video or the previous brown inks comparison video and you want to let me know put them in the comments below uh, if there are any of these brown inks that you like the look of and you think you might pick up also let me know in the comments below so that's my brown inks comparison number two video thanks for watching please like comment subscribe and I'll see you on the next pen video bye bye